Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is Series 7 Guru coming to you from my off-grid location, uh, from an undisclosed location in Northern Arizona, uh, with another explication request. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel, but uh, if you're looking for a paid supplement, highly recommend Kaplan QBank with my 15% discount code at checkout. If it's a Series 7 QBank, for example, it's $55.00. Almost uh, 4,000 questions, a performance tracker. So uh, check that out if you're looking for a paid supplement. For that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look at uh, Kaplan content like this question. Uh, this request is from a test taker. Uh, distinguishing between open-end and closed-end funds and dealing with the NAV, the net asset value, which under the Investment Company Act of 1940 has to be uh, done each day, each business day, is on all exams. Somehow, some way, this idea of the NAV and the POP, a distinguish between open and closed end funds is all exam. I have a very, very target rich slide. And if you're watching this on social media and one of our sister communities, Facebook, uh, Reddit, uh, whatever the case, let me know and I will be more than happy to post that target rich slide for you, which lays out uh, the distinctions and uh, probably easily three, four or five questions, test questions on all the exams on that slide. Uh, a management investment company owns a portfolio of securities with a market value of $100 million. The company owes $10 million for securities purchased, but not yet paid for. Well, again, that's a liability, right? And if you bought $10 million worth of something, you haven't paid for it, that's a liability. And accrued management fees of $5 million. So these are monies that, uh, again, a liability that hasn't been paid. If there are 2,611,437 shares outstanding and the current asking price is 36.38 per share, it would be correct to stay, state that this investment company is. Well, selling at a premium would mean it's selling for more than the NAV. So it looks like what we're going to be asked to do here to answer this question is we're going to have to calculate the net asset value. Uh, selling at a discount to the net asset value per share would mean it's definitely a closed-end fund. You know, there's no open-end fund that could possibly be trading for less than the NAV. If it's selling at the NAV, it could be a no-load open-end fund or perhaps a closed-end fund that coincidentally is just trading at the NAV. An open-end investment company. Okay, well, open-end investment companies are continually offering new shares, and that would be the NAV plus the sales charge would equal the public offering price. If it's a no-load fund, NAV plus zero. So the NAV and pop public offering price be the same. All right, well, let's get busy on calculating the NAV in this particular question. So we've got $100 million in uh, securities. We have liabilities of 10 million for the securities we haven't paid for, and another 5 million in management fees that haven't been paid for liabilities of 15 million. So we have net assets of 85 million. Uh, we divide that by the number of shares outstanding, 2,611,437. And we come up with an NAV of 32.55. It's trading at 36.38. So it's trading at a premium. So the answer is A, it is selling at a premium. Now you might say, well, gee, Dean, how do you know that it's not an open-end fund? Could there be two right answers? And the answer set? Yeah, well, sometimes there could be two right answers and get marked wrong if you don't come with the best of the right answers. It's not the case in this particular question. So we should know that the maximum sales charge for an open-end fund, very testable, is 8.5%. So one thing we could do is we could say, well, let's see, if I think this is an open-end fund, let me see if I can calculate the percentage sales charge. To be able to calculate the percentage sales charge of a mutual fund in and of itself, is testable math. And the way we do that is we take the public offering price. We're guessing, we don't know if this is you know an open-end fund, but if it was, that would be the public offering price. We minus the NAV, 32.55, and we say, hmm, if this is an open-end fund, we're not sure if it is or isn't, the sales charge would be 383. And we should be able to percent, uh, figure out the percentage sales charge. So if we assume that this is an open-end fund, we divide that, that math is testable. The sales charge divided by the public offering price is the percentage sales charge. When we do that, we get 10.5%. So this most certainly cannot be 
an open end fund because open end funds can't charge more than eight and a half percent. So the answer to this question is that it is selling at a premium to the NAV, answer A. Hope that was helpful. Remember inch by inch, your FINRA or NASA exam is essential. I'll be putting this in all the playlists because it's very testable. And yard by yard, your NASA FINRA exam is hard. And if you'd like me to post that uh, slide, just let me know and I'd be more than happy to do so in whatever uh, sister community uh, you're in. Okay, see you later, bye-bye.